Censorship in Brazil, both cultural and political, occurred throughout the whole period following the colonization of the country. Even though most state censorship ended just before the period of redemocratization that started in 1984, Brazil still experiences a small amount of non-official censorship today. The current legislation restricts freedom of expression concerning racism and the constitution prohibits the anonymity of journalists. Topic: History. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Military dictatorship, 1964 to 1985. In 1986, during Brazil's military dictatorship, the federal government banned Jean-Luc Godard's 1985 film Hail Mary, claiming that it was an insult to the Christian faith although the state was officially secular. Singer Roberto Carlos, a devout Catholic, deliberately damaged his image with liberal sectors of Brazilian society when he supported the ban by the José Sarni administration. With the new Brazilian constitution and redemocratization of the country, in the 1990s, the film was made available again. Redemocratization Topic 1989 In 1989 the anti-racism law was passed the law bans promotion of nazi ideals and the use of nazi symbols and also bans incitement to discrimination or prejudice based on race ethnicity religion and national origin topic 1990s In 1994, just a day before the premiere of the British documentary Beyond Citizen Kane at the Rio de Janeiro Modern Art Museum, the military police confiscated the copy of the film, obeying a court warrant. The film takes a critical approach towards the establishment of Reed Globo, the largest television broadcaster in the country, explaining its ties to the military dictatorship. On 20 August 2009, the newspaper Folha de S. Paulo reported that Reed Record bought the broadcasting rights to the documentary. This happened after a series of mutual attacks between Globo and Reed Record because of an investigation conducted by the public ministry against the network is waiting official authorization of the justice system to broadcast the film, the song. Luis Inácio 300 Picaretas", by rock band Os Paralamas do Sucesso, from their 1995 album Vemo Bait Lada, was banned in the federal district. The song alludes to a statement made by Brazilian former President Luis Inácio Lula da Silva in which he said that the Chamber of Deputies is formed by 300 bastards and a minority of honest men. Deputy Bonifacio Andrada of the Brazilian Labour Party of Minas Gerais, outraged with the song, managed to ban it from a concert the band would perform in Brasilia on 23 June 1995 on the basis the song was offensive to an electoral candidate. Other deputies joined Andrada in his crusade against the song, but it was ultimately banned only from radio airplay. In 1997, a law forbidden to use trickery, montage, or other audio or video feature that, in any way, degrade or ridicule a candidate, party, or coalition, or to produce or display program with that purpose. Three months before a political election was created. 
In 2010, this law was questioned by Brazilian Association of Radio and TV and Humorists and Supreme Federal Court STF suspended its effect. Topic 2000s In 2001, the Agencia Nacional do Cinema or Nacional Cinema Agency was created, and in 2003 it became the regulatory agency of the Brazilian movie industry. The agency has banned three titles that did not qualify into any age rating due to extreme pornographic scenes, child pornographic scenes and extreme gore. To make a movie in Brazil the screenwriter need to be first approved by the ANSINE, from 2003 to 2013 just one at each 3,000 projects were approved to become a movie. In 2003, when Senator Eduardo Azeredo of the Brazilian Social Democratic Party of Minas Gerais proposed a bill to curb digital crimes known as the Digital AI-5, he was heavily criticized by Internet users, who felt that it would force Internet service providers to act as watchdogs, since they would have the legal obligation to denounce possible illegal activities. In 2005, the rock band Bide O Balda faced legal problems after the release of their song, E Por K Now. And why not? On the MTV Brazil special album Acústico MTV Bandas Gauchas, MTV Acoustic Gaucha Bands. The song was seen by some as encouraging incest. After several lawsuits from women's and children's right organizations, MTV felt pressured to re release the album without the track and to stop showing its music video. The lyrics of the song, however, can still be found on the internet. In February 2007, two court cases were settled when an agreement was reached that all copies of the book Roberto Carlos M. Dedelhez, an unauthorized biography of singer Roberto Carlos by journalist Paulo Cesar de Araujo, would be repurchased from bookstores. The singer's attempt to censor the book proved to be a failure, since copies can be easily found on the internet. On the 18th of January 2008, a court order prohibited the sale of the games Counter Strike and EverQuest in Brazil, arguing that they were extremely violent. The move has been described by media as a publicity stunt on the regulation of video game violence and sexually explicit content, and also as a hasty decision that ignored much more violent games. As all versions of Counter-Strike were very popular in Brazil at the time, the decision was met with considerable uproar by the Brazilian gaming community. The game's developer Valve did not comment on the episode. However, on 18 June 2009, a regional federal court order lifting the ban of Counter Strike was published. On the 22nd of September 2008, Minas Gerais PSDB attempted to censor a documentary about censorship, Gagged in Brazil, by Daniel Florencio. The short film elucidates the imbrication between politics and media in the state of Minas Gerais, where the media only conveyed news favorable to the state government, censoring journalists that were critical of Governor Aicio Neves. On 30 July 2009, Fernando Sarni, son of former President and Senator José Sarni, obtained a favorable decision from the Federal District Court of Justice that kept the newspaper O Estado de S. Paulo from publishing stories about a criminal investigation conducted by the federal police against him, as Brazilian law prohibits disclosure of the status of criminal investigations before they are concluded. Later that year, the STF rejected a suit by the newspaper seeking to overturn the ruling, thus maintaining the information unavailable. The NGO Reporters Without Borders called the Supreme Court decision, "...incomprehensible," and "...dangerous," 
After the investigation was finished, and Fernando Sarni was charged for his crimes, the censored information was released to the public. Topic 2010s. In April 2010, Google reported that Brazil was the country with most requests from its government to take down content. In June 2010, Brazilian election justice through Superior Electoral Court requested Google to remove two blogs: Amigos do Presidente Lula. Blogspot. Com and Eucurocera.blogspot.com, which were deemed as political propaganda for Dilma Rousseff and Jose Serra respectively. On 9 August 2011, the Federal Justice of Minas Gerais blocked the distribution of a Serbian film, a 2010 Serbian horror film, in Brazil. This was the first time a movie was banned in Brazil since the promulgation of the 1988 constitution. As of 2012 this decision has been overturned and the film given a not recommended for those under the age of 18, due to depictions of sex, pedophilia, violence and cruelty. Rating. While freedom of expression is a constitutional right in Brazil, in August 2012, the Tourist Ministry tried to censor expression of Rouge V in other country, according to him, shown by a claimed email from the ministry. In September 2012, an elections court in Brazil ordered the arrest of Fabio José Silva Coelho, Google's most senior executive in the country, after the company failed to take down YouTube videos attacking a local mayoral candidate. The stringent 1965 Electoral Code bans campaign ads that «offend the dignity or decorum» of a candidate. Google is appealing the order, which comes after a similar decision by another Brazilian elections judge. In that case, the judge found a different senior executive responsible for violating local election law after the company refused to take down a YouTube video mocking a mayoral candidate. That decision was overturned by another judge who wrote that Google is not the intellectual author of the video, it did not post the file, and for that reason it cannot be punished for its propagation. Google also defended users' political rights saying, "...that voters have a right to use the Internet to freely express their opinions about candidates for political office, as a form of full exercise of democracy, especially during electoral campaigns." In 2016, federal deputy for São Paulo Eduardo Bolsonaro, son of Deputy Jair Bolsonaro, introduced a bill to amend the anti-racism law to also ban promotion of communist ideals and the use of communist symbols, and to also ban fomentation of conflict between social classes. Topic freedom of speech and the press Brazilian law enforces freedom of speech and press, and the authorities generally respect these rights in practice. The independent media are active and express a wide variety of views with no restriction, but non-governmental criminal elements continue to subject journalists to violence because of their professional activities. A growing number of cases of judicial censorship of the media pose a serious threat to press freedom. Brazilian law states that material deemed offensive to a certain party may be removed if said party enters judicial action. However, this is sometimes exploited by companies and government officials, whom the law sometimes favors. The National Association of Newspapers ANJ reports cases of imprisonment, aggression, censorship, and failure to respect freedom of the press. Between 1 January and 26 July 2011, the ANJ reported 23 cases of censorship, 
threats, direct violence against journalists, and other forms of pressure against news organizations and professionals, including three killings, one imprisonment, six cases of censorship, and nine instances of verbal assault and physical battery, though those were reportedly not practiced by the Brazilian government, but by criminal organizations. In 2010, there were already complaints about the growth of press censorship in Brazil, via the judiciary the Brazilian electoral legislation is favoring censorship into the journalism practice, was the assessment of those who participated in the panel Freedom of Speech and Democratic State during a forum in the São Paulo City journalist and columnist Reinaldo Azevedo of Veja magazine, television comedian Marcelo Madureira from sketch show Casita and Planeta, and professor of ethics and political philosophy Roberto Romano participated in the debate. Azevedo said that the legislation affect mainly the Internet and television. Television, especially, is obliged to give the same space to people who has something to tell, and who hasn't nothing to say. Romano wrote that court decisions also undermine freedom of expression. There is a movement not only in Brazil, but internationally, to control the power of the state, through the judiciary. Romano cited a case of censorship to the newspaper O Estado de S. Paulo as an example. According to Madureira, comedians are extremely hurt with the Brazilian electoral legislation. Internet freedom There are no government restrictions on access to the Internet or credible reports that the government monitors email or Internet chat rooms. Individuals and groups can engage in the expression of views via the Internet, including by email. A continuing trend is for private individuals and official bodies to take legal action against Internet service providers and providers of online social media platforms, such as Google, Facebook, and Orkut, holding them accountable for content posted to or provided by users of the platform. Judicial rulings often result in the forced removal of content from the Internet. Brazil is not individually classified by the OpenNet Initiative, ONI, but is included in the ONI Regional Overview for Latin America. Brazilian legislation restricts the freedom of expression, PAME law, directed especially to publications considered racist, such as neo Nazi sites. The Brazilian constitution also prohibits anonymity of journalists. In March 2009, Chamber President Michel Temer ordered TV Camara to remove a video of a debate from its website in which Carta Capital journalist Leandro Fortes criticized Gilmar Mendes' tenure as court president. Many viewed this as political censorship, and the video was soon posted on YouTube. After being denounced for censorship by the country's main bodies representing journalists, TV Camara has uploaded the debate back to its website. In September 2012, an elections court in Brazil ordered the arrest of Google's most senior executive in the country, after the company failed to take down YouTube videos attacking a local mayoral candidate. The stringent 1965 Electoral Code bans campaign ads that «offend the dignity or decorum» of a candidate, although critic is, notably, permitted. Google is appealing the order, which might be decided after a similar decision by another Brazilian elections judge. In that case, the judge found a different senior executive responsible for violating local election law after the company refused to take down a YouTube video mocking a mayoral candidate. That decision was overturned by another judge who wrote that Google is not the intellectual author of the video, it did not post the file, and for that reason it cannot be punished for its propagation. Topic: Self-censorship. Self 
Topic: Reed Globo. Reed Globo, the largest telenovela producer of the country, is known to have practiced self-censorship on at least two occasions. According to Afro-Brazilian actor Tony Tornado, in a statement for the 2000 documentary A Negação do Brasil which denounces racism on the Brazilian television, three final sequences were shot for the 1985 telenovela Roque Santero, which drew a record-breaking audience. In two of them, the protagonist Porcina Regina Duarte ended up with white characters Lima Duarte or Jose Wilker and in the other, she ended up with Tornado's character Rodizio. Globo's press office, however, reported that just two final sequences had been shot, with Porcina ending up with one of the white characters. According to Tornado, the third sequence was banned by the head of the network. <inaudible> Reed Record Reed Record was criticized for censoring the 2009 telenovela Poder Paralelo. The head of the network vetoed author Lauro César Munez, who claimed to have left Globo due to the lack of artistic freedom, and director Ignacio Coquero from writing and directing scenes featuring thighs, breasts, buttocks and coarse language. Although the head of the network claimed the scenes were being cut so that the program could receive a 14 classification, scenes containing deep violence were not removed. This resulted in bad reviews for the network, already known for its aestheticization of violence. Topic. See also: Brazilian Advisory Rating System, a Brazilian rating organization for media. National Truth Commission. Criticism of Reed Globo